I want to apologize for not making this video much, much sooner, but today was my birthday, so obviously I was with my family celebrating it. But now that I have the chance to, to, to talk about this, you want to talk about the stupidest thing I've ever seen with my life. Mims, Denzel Mims was right there. He was right there for you to take. And what do you do with your second round pick? You picked a quarterback. And not only did you pick a quarterback, but you picked Jalen Hurt. Who came in second in the Heisman? What does that say? I was talking crazy like... Uh, I was talking crazy like the, the, the uh, Green Bay Packers picking... Uh, 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 their quarterback means Aaron Rodgers, he, he on the way out the door. But what does this mean for Carson Wentz? You literally just paid this man last year, and you're picking a quarterback in the second round? I get it, I get it, I get it. You can't really trust him on the field. Every time he takes a hit, you're worried he's done. I get it, I get it. But in the second round? See all this stuff right here? You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? I love this team, bro. I love this team. But it is now, they have officially lost their minds. The smug look on Doug Peterson's face when he smiled when they got the cute, when they got, when they selected this quarterback. The smug smile on Howie Roseman when he selected this quarterback makes absolutely no sense. You want to say eventually Carson Wentz might go down, he might miss a couple games. Fine, but you go get a veteran backup. Joe Flacco was out there. Jameis Winston was out there. Cam Newton was out there. There were choices. But you pick... <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I thought they were dumb yesterday for letting the Dallas Cowboys take C.D. Lamb. But they took that stupidity and cranked it up all, all the way up to an 11. And, yes, I leave with 11 on purpose because 11 is Carson Wentz. I don't know what the heck Carson Wentz did to somebody. But for you to select uh, this guy makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. You guys must be so upset at him for almost costing us Super Bowl in 2017. That's that's what I'm thinking. Like he could he was gonna be the MVP. And obviously we were destined to win the Super Bowl because we won it anyway. But you must still be so upset about that. That you literally did the dumbest thing you possibly could have done. So let me tell you what's going to happen. Or what could happen. Carson Wentz goes down. Let's just say he's out for a game or so, right? Jalen Hurts comes in the game. And if I'm saying his name wrong or if I'm saying the wrong name, you know who I'm talking about. Because I'm just so furious right now. So he comes into the game. He plays good these the next two games. Eagles offense is clicking. But do you really want to put Carson Wentz back in? Because now the team is clicking with him. So now Carson Wentz has to stay on the sideline. But now you have to think, wait a minute, this is our $100 million quarterback. This is our franchise quarterback. You can't leave him. Up. And he is not a Taysom Hill, okay? He is a real, legit quarterback. You screwed your own franchise. By trying to be smarter than everyone else in the room. But you're not smart. You're dumb. You're dumb. I said it yesterday. And Howie Roseman confirmed it for me. I have lost total and utter respect for this man. This is the dumbest thing you possibly could have done. 
Did we need a quarterback? Yes, we did. We needed a quarterback. We needed a backup quarterback. We know backup quarterbacks in this in our franchise are is way important. You're, I said that they was McNabb and him. This is way worse than McNabb and him because they never would have did this to McNabb. They never would have did this to Nick Foles. Well, Chip Kelly did ship him out for uh, Sam Bradford, so that's pretty bad. But still, this has got to be the dumbest thing. I I can't even defend it. I, I'm embarrassed to be an Eagles fan right now. I'm embarrassed to be an Eagles fan right now. Cowboy fans are laughing. Ah! Giants and Redskins are laughing at us because they're like, yo, y'all, you just created your own quarterback controversy. You just created your own quarterback controversy. That's what you did. And they're right. As much as I hate it, they're right. You created your own quarterback controversy. You did it. I don't even know why I'm hanging this back on the wall. I should take it down. Idiots. Complete and utter idiots. That's all I got to say. Idiots. Howie Roseman, he needs to go. I'm done with this man. He needs to go. You had the opportunity to pair up Jalen Reger with a great uh, partner, but you didn't do that. Oh, he's enough. He's all we need. Are you that dumb that you're still banking on Deshaun Jackson? Are you that dumb that you're still banking on J.J. Ortega-Whiteside? Are you that dumb that you're still banking on Greg Ward? Are you that dumb thinking that we have Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard thinking that's, oh, that's enough? Are you that dumb? Are you that dumb thing? Oh, we can wait till October, November till Alshon gets back. We're straight. No. No. I'm embarrassed to be an Eagles fan right now. Utterly, completely embarrassed. I'm um, goodbye.